guys welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're new here my name is hope um i recently traveled to and for korea i went back to my home country for holidays and i just wanted to come here and share my experiences in case someone else is you know coming in or is planning to go out of korea i hope that this video will be very helpful to you yes yeah, so let's start traveling out of korea is kind of easy the process isn't really hard all you need is a pcr test you have taken 48 hours before you travel and a re-entry permit so the re-entry permit is what you will use to come back to korea it's like a requirement so if you do not get this re-entry permit you may not be allowed to enter korea when you are coming back how do you get this re-entry permit you can apply online via the high korea website two you can go to the immigration office and get the re-entry permit directly do not forget to get the re-entry permit in case you plan to come back to korea from wherever you are going also some countries require your vaccination card so if you need your vaccination card uh, in korea we use the cove app but you can also go to where you had your vaccination from and they will print out your vaccination document for you for free and then you will have that with you as you travel the pcr test you need for your travel is kind of different from the normal one that you that we always take for let me say just checking if you are positive or negative so this one you will need to pay i think it's about 150,000 one and above depending on where you take it from and it will be a document and that's what you and that is what you will use for your travel okay okay so coming back to korea is the harder process compared to the first one so while you come back you have to have the following things in mind one is you should have your entry permit in case you are returning and two you have to have secured a place where you will have your quarantine from if you are a visitor that is if your visa is less than 90 days then you will be required to quarantine to have your quarantine in a government facility and that is about fifteen hundred dollars or 1.5 million korean won you cannot um book an airbnb or stay at your friends or a hotel yeah you can quarantine there you have to stay at a government facility and if you if you are a long-term resident if you have these other visas like i have d2 since i am a student so there you, you can book like a studio or stay at a friend's or stay at your own home for currently it's seven days i am having a quarantine of seven days yeah it has been reduced from 10 days which is really nice it came from 14 to 10 and now it's seven if you are a long-term resident then it's a bit easier on you because you have the chance to look out for um places that are cheap places that are affordable for you to you know spend your quarantine so you can stay at your home you can get one of those temporary facilities or if your school if you're a student and your school helps you with a quarantine process if your school like accommodates you during the quarantine and that's good as well in case you fail to find a place then you can also quarantine from the government facility and the fee is still the same the 1.5 million korean won and that includes the meals for the seven days the other thing you need to bring with you as you return to korea is a negative pcr test so they will keep checking and checking for this negative pcr test and it has to be a hard copy as well like as you leave it should not be a soft copy the, the process isn't that hard it's just that the lines are long because there are many people 
so the standing going through the lines that's the tiring bit about the whole process and they ask for a lot of things once they have confirmed your quarantine you will have to download an app they will help you with the download and then there they'll help you fill in your information and why you are going to stay because they have to monitor you you are not allowed to go to buy stuff outside like from the supermarket so in case you need to buy something i think it's best to order so that app it's through that app that they monitor your everyday symptoms you you have to record how you are feeling every day your symptoms do you have feelings of fever what's your temperature yeah you have to fill in that and submit every day before that's before 10 a.m and 5 p.m so you have to do that every single day until your quarantine ends and you have to follow the rules as required you have to take a pcr test two times before your quarantine is done the first time is a day after you have arrived in korea so if you come today and maybe it's late you can get your pcr test done tomorrow and then have your results the next day and then you can forward your results to your case officer also one more time that you have to take the pcr test is before before your quarantine ends you have to go and have the pcr test done again and if it is negative then your quarantine will be lifted yes so it's not hard uh just that you have to walk to the health center where you are taking your test from so you have to walk to the place where you are to take your pcr test from because you are not allowed to take public transport so in case in case you are maybe booking a place if you are using like a temporary facility uh i think they can inform you about the nearest health center where you can take your covid test from they keep checking on you i don't know okay my case officer checks on me and asks me if i'm staying in if i'm not doing any of the stuff that is not required once the whole process is done and they have confirmed your visa status where you are going to stay for the quarantine and everything is done at the airport so checking out no not checking out <laughs> like going to your residence yeah so if you are going by taxi then i think that's fine they are they call taxis for you they have like people there that guide you with that if you if you are taking taxis or if they are coming for you and then they they also have buses so if your place is far away from incheon then there are buses that they i think put aside uh, they put them aside for us to use so you just tell them that this is where i wish to go and then they will tell you which bus they will show you where to buy the ticket you will go and buy the ticket and then yeah you should also know when that bus is coming so the bus that bus is just for you guys that are going so you're all going for quarantine you're all the same you it's not going to take any other passengers besides you guys it will take you up to a certain place and then from that place there's going to be um, like public workers government workers that are going to come for you and take you to your places which is very nice like for me they brought me straight to my home so that is yeah that was it was a very easy journey and quite affordable because i imagine if you are using the taxi then it's a long journey it's going to be very expensive from incheon so in case your place of residence is like you know pyeongtaek such places that are far away from seoul ask for the bus there are there are buses 
that will take you and then there there will be people that will pick you from where the bus leaves you and take you to your home for free for free Kali, that's it that you need to know about coming and leaving korea like the requirement the basic requirements that you need don't forget the easy guidelines that you have to you know follow during your quarantine in case you are traveling back because once you once they notice that you are maybe meeting people or not following any of the guidelines that you have to then um if you are a foreigner your visa may be revoked or you may have to pay a fine something like that so just be mindful of the rules they are quite easy try to prepare all these things in time so that you have a smooth experience while coming back because the journeys can be quite hard you don't you don't want to have a hard time at the airport as well that is all i had to tell you guys in case you have any more questions feel free to ask me i'll be glad to respond and till next time thank you guys for watching bye bye mm -hmm.